In tears and in shock, this was Emmanuel Adebayor just after the attack. He and his Togo teammates trying to comfort each other after the ambush that has stunned the football world. Their team bus was sprayed with bullets for 20 minutes. Adebayor and Aston Villa's Mustafa Salafu escaped unharmed, but the driver was killed and several other players injured. Uh, it happened only 10 kilometers from the border. There was rapid fire by bush rebels who attacked the two buses at the same time. We had nine people injured, and the response of our escort helped us to limit the casualties and losses. The Togo team was traveling from the Republic of Congo into Angola to take part in the African Cup of Nations. The attack happened in the volatile Kabinda region, where separatist rebels have been fighting for independence for 30 years. The Angolan government says all the teams were told to travel by air, not by road, and says the tournament, due to open tomorrow, will still go ahead, despite Togo now considering pulling out. The Angolan government wants to reaffirm that this will not affect in any way whatsoever the organization and security of the African Cup of Nations. The team was calmer at breakfast this morning, but some of the players are said to want to go home, too traumatized to play on in the African Nations Cup. But fear has replaced excitement for other teams heading to Angola. The Mozambique squad is already en route. We have goosebumps <laughs> because with these attacks, we cannot say that it happened only to Togo. Who knows what's going to happen to us? A Kabinda separatist group has claimed responsibility for the attack and promised more assaults, and several European sides with African players in the tournament have expressed serious concerns. Have you been able to get in touch with Mustafa Salafou? Yeah, we have, and uh, he's obviously pretty shaken up, but uh, he, is, uh, he is fine, he's unhurt, and, uh, but, um, you know, I'm pretty upset about it, about it all, but he is uh, physically, he's okay. This is meant to be the year of football in Africa, with South Africa 2010 now just five months away. This has been the worst possible start.